Hello everyone, it is Lori and I am here to do your um, general reading for you. Whatever comes out, comes out. I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun. Alright, we're going to start by rolling the zodiac die to see what signs you might be dealing with. Alright, we've got Libra, whoop whoop, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces and Gemini. So all three air signs, all three water signs. Isn't that weird how that's been happening lately? All three of, you know, one of the four elements. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and see what your overall energy is. The chariot. Funny, that just came out in the uplifting reading message. And the date... Did I already do two? No. Okay. So then we move on to the devil energy. All right. We'll find out what's happening here. Oh, the ten of pentacles. The three of swords. The judgment card. Justice. There you are, my Libras. Strength card. Ace of swords. And the seven of swords. This is intriguing. I'm not sure how this... I, it doesn't feel real negative yet. Okay, as you're coming into this, you're feeling like Lady Luck is on your side, like the tides have turned. Things are starting to get better. You've changed directions in your life. Okay, so you got the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. That's you feeling lucky. That's you feeling like the tides have changed. That you are taking your life in a brand new direction. All right, I am hearing here that there may be some sort of toxicity that is still around you something that's lingering that you've tried to break free from tried to gain balance with you've sought answers you've sought clarity um but for some reason this just you just don't have the answers and you feel this toxic energy dragging on you you're trying to focus on your future um, bringing in the abundance. I'm hearing you're focusing on your career. Most of you are focusing on work or how to make money, you know, whether that's through a hobby or investments, whatever it is, you're focusing on your future securities. Okay. You're trying to release the past here with the judgment card. It is taking a lot of courage and strength and bravery and holding back. I'm hearing reserving, trying to just stay level-headed, not yelling at somebody. Um, yeah, not engage in battling with somebody. Like you, you're feeling like you need to be much more strategic than you have been. Especially with a seven of swords right here next to the strength. You're really, really looking to yourself, turning within yourself to figure out how to start you know, plan something here, how to get the clarity you need, how to move past whatever is happening here. Because this has been heartbreaking. Whatever you have dealt with in the past, it was toxic. It was definitely not good for you. All right, let's go ahead and start clarifying here. Interesting. This is definitely different. Unique reading here. Let's go ahead and see if we can find out more of what this toxicity might be. Is it a person? Is it a thing? Is it a thought? What more can you tell us about this energy here, Spirit? Four of Swords, you have stepped back from it. You've released it. You, you are walking away from it. You are focusing on your future, what you can do to maintain balance, good relationships, have stability. I'm also hearing that you've surrendered it up to, you know, your higher power. You said, I'm I'm not dealing with this anymore. Can you please help me here? Um, what can you do to take this toxic energy away from me? So you're really not trying to control or force anything here. You're trying to put your burden down. Yeah, you're, you're really trying to let it go. You're, you're really letting it go there with the Ten of Wands and the death card energy there you may be dealing with a scorpio you definitely have water energy here scorpio is on top too 
Let's go ahead and see what the Three of Swords is. Something that you have worked on for a long time, trying to overcome this heartache, this pain, it has taken you quite a long time to do it. Okay, it's taken years, I'm hearing, to move past the pain, the suffering. There may have been a very harsh betrayal here. Um, wow. Somebody's definitely wrapped up inside their head, regretting something that they have done. Not you. Somebody around you. Whatever, whatever they did is what caused this toxicity within your relationship. And this is what you're trying to move past. And it's taken you a long, long, long time because I'm hearing that you felt it was like your fault for whatever happened. And I think you're still trying to figure out how it is your fault, even though it isn't. Okay, and that's the, that's the problem. That was the lack of clarity that you did not have. You're about to receive the understanding and become whole and balanced again when you realize this is somebody coming to you with the truth. This Knight of Pentacles over the Three of Swords. This is somebody coming to you with the truth. They're going to admit to what they did. That it was their fault that things changed. Wow. Yeah, you guys have spent a lot of time together. Look, and it's over. It, it, it's over. There is no healing this. Whatever is being revealed is putting an end to this relationship. The clarity, the truth. You know who you are and you're no longer willing to accept it. And then look at this. You've got the um, Wheel of Fortune again. It's on the bottom of the deck here. This, this is what's changing your tide. This is what's changing the tides. Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor here. Okay? Whatever this person did... And I'm getting, it was, it was harsh. It was very bad, whatever they did. Um, it's coming back to bite them, but you're going to receive the truth about this and you're going to be set free. You're finally going to feel like yourself again and say, you're going to be asking yourself why you gave so much energy to worrying about this when you knew that you were not at fault. And you know what? Don't bother with that. Don't bother with that energy. Accept the truth and move on. Now you can be positive. You can be happy. You don't have to be up in your head about this anymore. Look at this. On the bottom of the deck, you've got the Ten of Cups. Yes, this is exactly what Spirit wants for you. For you to be happy, feel whole, complete, feel reconnected. Okay? And like you have finally crossed, crossed a finish line here. Boy, does that bring in a lot of happiness and joy to you. All right, let's go ahead and clarify this justice card energy here. What can you tell us about this justice card energy here, Spirit? We know that's Libra energy all the way. And you're feeling whole and like yourself. But what more, what more can you tell us? Oh, that's a lot of cards. These wanted to come out first. The Page of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and there you are, the Justice. Okay? So you've got a new focus. Somebody may be coming back at you. Harsh words. Oh, my gosh. Something that really, really cha challenged you. Made you, I'm hearing, really upset you really i mean fiery like you got your oh you really really are angry but you're going to stay whole and balanced and just acknowledge you're going to receive this knowledge and let it be wow this is incredible all right so you have a new focus here okay after somebody comes in with these angry words that triggers you you will find a way to balance yourself and accept the truth for what the truth is. Okay, that's what's coming at you, the truth. And it's coming at you, and they may not come at you. The person may not come at you angrily. Okay, I don't get that. What I'm hearing is, is that that Knight of Swords there energy, this is harsh. Okay, 
the fact of what happened was cold, callous. Maybe somebody didn't think about it, or maybe they did think about it, but didn't think it through all the way. But they intentionally set out to hurt you. That's what this card. Um, they had one focus, and that was to hurt you for something. And boy, um, it did. It really did. And I'm hearing it had something to do with your uniqueness. What made you special? What makes you special? What, what people see as um, being a really good quality about you. This person may have tried to break that in you. Wow. But here you are. You're saying, nope, I know who I am. With this card here. But yeah, this is about them trying to break you. A break... Um, some good quality about you, something good they took. They were jealous, I'm hearing, of this energy that you have, of your ability to um, get along with people, like people really like you. You're good at making money. You're non-judgmental. Like you just let things go. And this person, I, I'm feeling... Scorpio energy here really strongly. They couldn't let something go. They either something was said, but they made they they made you think it was your fault. And this is what they tried to do. They tried to break you for what they did. Okay, that what they couldn't what they they intentionally tried to hurt you here. Is what I'm hearing. I don't like this. I don't like this person. But look, with the Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords here, you've got the Knight of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Magician. You're filling your cup of love. You know who you are, okay? And you know that you have enough love to fill your cup and then go fill it in the river and offer it to somebody else, okay? You're not taking things the way that they were. You are using all the resources at within your reach, okay? Whether that's in your mind, your heart, within your hand, you know, something tangible that you can touch. It doesn't matter. You're using all of your resources, counting on your higher power to focus on yourself and take care of yourself. You are refusing to accept the old way of doing things. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're definitely using all the resources you have with this knowledge, okay? Once this knowledge comes in, now you're able to say, you know what? I don't care what this person did. I'm done. I'm moving past this energy. It, it's over. What, whoever this is, whoever did this to you, you're done. You're not going back to this person in any way, shape, or form. And I think they knew that. And I think they were afraid of losing you, but they're going to come in and ad admit it. Okay? Because I think they need peace and harmony within themselves. Yeah, see, they, they are not, they have not been comfortable. They know that what they did was toxic. It was wrong. They should never have done that. And they did it to this relationship that was working. Okay. They knew they had a beautiful relationship. And now they're going to have to walk away and they're going to have to start something new. Go heal. And there's the chariot. Okay. Their life is going to go in a different direction. Your life is going in a different direction without them. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at this. The truth, again, Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords. Your life is going in a different direction. You're no longer, if you were married, you're divorcing. Okay, your home is, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, whatever the situation is, um, the relationship is irreparable. Okay, what they did was so wrong. And they're not coming in to offer you an apology. That's the sad thing here, my Libras. Cross watchers and channel fans, I don't care who you are. This person is not coming in to say, oh, I'm sorry, I want you. No, they're coming in just to admit what they did so that they can have peace of mind. That's the only reason they're coming towards you. Why they're going to admit that what they did. Wow. Wow. And you are going to walk away from this. You're going to be able to take a step back. Let this energy go. You're not going to take it on. And look at what you have on the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Cups, the Holy Grail. Healing. Seeing things from a completely different perspective. You are being divinely offered, okay, a beautiful new life. There could be new love coming in here for some of you too. There's definitely a need to take action and communicate clearly. 
Let us see what this is down here with the Ten of Pentacles. We have got the King of Wands. See this King of Wands? He is the card that represents the entrepreneur. So you may be leaving a career, a job, something. You're going to take on life as your own boss. Okay, so here you are focusing on money. That's what this card is all about. Focusing on starting a business, starting a hobby that pays. Okay, your focus is elsewhere. This is going to make you happy with this Ten of Cups. You're putting down your burden here. You're leaving behind the hurtful words, the hurtful things, the pain. Okay, here we go with the Page of Pentacles. You have another offer coming in here. So a lot of you are going to focus on work, okay? You're putting all of your passion, your effort, all of your anger, all of any energies that you have, you're looking at it and you're saying, I'm going to take all of those energies that I have that I need to release and I'm going to put it into focusing on my future, maybe starting a business, a new hobby, something that is going to make you money down the road, but it's going to bring you closer to other people, the people you are already close to, your bonds are going to strengthen here. But this is passionate. This is definitely a passionate, fresh start here. Um, I'm also hearing this, this king of wands has salamanders here. Okay, but that's what's all over his robe is salamanders, more salamanders. And the salamanders are in circles representing the wheel of fortune and luck. Okay, so good things are going to be coming your way. A lot of stability, a lot of financial gain, a lot of um, uh, possibly wealth, okay? If you are going to be divorcing somebody, there may be a large divorce settlement in the asset area. Um, this could also be just good fortune coming to you because you're putting the effort in to start a new career, a new business, a new hobby, there is nothing here about it starting a new relationship. All right, let's go ahead and look at the judgment energy here. What more can you tell us here about the judgment energy, please? Boy, the cards are acting weird. When you release this past energy, when you let it go, when you surrender it to the divine, look at this. It's like a dream come true. This is a genie here with his arms crossed, ready to nod his head and say, your wish is my command. Your dreams are about to be fulfilled, but only once you release this negative energy. Okay. The three of swords energy, whatever happened in the past. It brings in wholeness, happiness, a sense of making better choices in, in relationships within yourself. And you are divinely guided uh, and protected here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading, my lovely, lovely Libras. I'm so happy for you guys here. I am so happy for whoever this message is resonating with. And I hope that's every single one of you watching. All right, let's look at the strength card here. What more can you tell us about that spirit? It came out in the word uh, reverse, but I'm not taking it that way because spirit is saying you haven't given up and you're not about to give up. You're going to continue to figure out how to win. Not, not in a I have to win at all costs, but I'm just not willing to surrender. I've been through too many battles. I've got the strength. I've got the courage. I've got the bravery. I've got the know-how. I know how to stay level-headed. Okay? That's you. I'm talking about you. You know how to be level-headed. You are not going to give up. You are going to continue to move and fight for your new life, for what you want in life. You're putting those burdens down. You go from the nine of wands here to the ten right there. You're putting the burden down. Look at temperance with the justice and the strength card. I kept saying balance. You're level-headed. That's where you're at. You're going to take action to release this energy and focus on your future. Look at that. With the Three of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles here, you are definitely focusing your energy in a positive new light, in a new way, a positive new way, area of your life. 
Yes, you're not going to keep sitting on that anger or hurt or sadness or, you know, all oh, that person. No, you are not holding on to any of that energy. You're focusing on all the good, the positive, everything you do have. Okay. Wow. Beautiful. We've got the seven of swords here. What are you strategizing? What, what more can you tell us about this energy here? Look at this. How to be happy. How to live life in the sun. In the sun in the light, with joy, happiness, bliss, trust, and awe and excitement for the wonderful world that's out there in front of you. Look at that. And that's the Seven of Swords clarifying the Seven of Swords. And notice this one's dark, illuminated by the moon. This one's illuminated fully by the sun. So your ideas, your plans to get you into the sun are going to be out there. Okay, clearly, you're going to figure out how to do this. On the bottom of the deck, you have the King of Pentacles. You have the King of Pentacles. So this is going to take you into wealth, stability, um, loyalty, trust, people you can count on. Wow, this is beautiful. I love this message for you guys. Absolutely love it. All right, let's go ahead. Don't forget, if this is making sense, resonating with you, if this is you, or if you just happen to like this message, Go ahead and click the like bu button. Tickle, tap, or boop it for me if you would. Show some support for yourself here. Um, drop a comment if this is your message or what you think about this message. Positive thoughts only because what we put out into the universe expands. So if you put a negative comment here, that expands. It makes everyone that reads it feel yucky. So don't do that, please. Positive, uplifting Okay. Lovers, four of wands, eight of swords, nine of pentacles. Oh my goodness. And it's being read this way. You are gaining your independence, your freedom. You are winning here. Okay. You are getting out of your head. You are no longer going to accept this repeated thing over and over in your head. Except I'm hearing here. You're turning the negative here. And I don't know if you've ever noticed, but that's a woman looking in a mirror, okay? So instead of focusing on the negative, you're going to focus on the positive. These are positive affirmations that you're repeating in your head. I will succeed. I will be happy. I will have joy in my life. I am grateful for all of the things that I have, all of my abundance. So you're, you're instead of being wrapped up in your head with negative thoughts, you're in your head thinking about all the beautiful bounty and abundance and wealth and stability and everything good that you have, okay? And that is going to bring in, first of all, some of you actually have a new person coming in here. Soulmate energy, for sure, okay? I am getting um, Sagittarius in this energy, For all of you, though, if there is not a person coming in, because I do feel, and I'm hearing from Spirit, it's not everyone's going to have a new person coming in here. Definitely not everyone's going to have a romantic person. A lot of you will have a new person come into your life pretty soon here. And it's going to be a good relationship. It's going to be a soulmate relationship, okay? You're going to feel in alignment with this four of wands, okay, and this new person, with this new energy that you have, this new ability to make healthier choices for yourself about what you want in life and what you don't want in life, feeling harmonious, in alignment, okay, you will be achieving your goals, manifesting exactly what it is you are trying to bring into your life, happiness, joy, crossing those finish lines, crushing those goals, Oh my goodness. I'm hearing this is music to your ears and it's music to your soul. It is absolutely music to your ears and music to your soul. This is happening for you because you are the one in charge here and you are determined to figure out how to change your life for the better. How to take your life in a different direction. I absolutely love this reading for you guys. Don't forget to Give it a thumbs up, okay? We've got a spirit animal oracle message here coming out for you. Or two. 
All right, the first one that showed up, upright as cat, independent. You are a natural heal healer, and your intuition is very strong. You don't have to go with the crowd and what they do or say or think or feel. Nope, you are unique, okay? You've got the Queen of Wands there, and you're not going to let anybody tell you that what you're doing is wrong because you're a unique person. Life will support you in every aspect, okay? Black Bear, Guardian, gentle and wise protectors, give me your confidence and power. Please help me protect the ones I love and awaken in me my intuition and help guide me. Beautiful message there. You are never alone, okay? You are never alone. We're going to get you... Um, an eternal crystal message. Yeah, I absolutely love this message for you guys. I'm so happy for you. I feel so happy. I feel joy, bliss. Oh, I mean, like, I wish this was my reading. I really, really do wish this was my reading. It feels that beautiful. We have Dioptes, Direction, card number 15, which would be a six. And what was I just noticing about sixes? I don't know why, but I kept hearing sixes, which is a time to reflect, wake up. You're trusting your intuition, um, your spiritual truths. All right, let's see if I can move that over there. One more. And Laramar, uh, card 25, Water, Ocean, and the th Throat Chakra. This is your Heart Chakra. Okay, so let's see what we have. 15, there's two fives there, one, two, and five, five. And I'm hearing that there are minor changes being made that are having a huge impact in your life. Little changes, little changes. Okay, are you feeling stuck in a rut? Not sure which way you should turn? Okay, do you need some help with deciding which direction you might want to take? Diaptase is here today to help you weigh up your options and choose a direction for you to follow. The energy of the stone will help you become clearer about what you want to achieve. You might feel like you've been wasting time wandering aimlessly about as of late. That time of confusion and stagnation is now over, and it is making way for a period of great focus and achievement. If you happen to already know what direction you want to take, take this as a sign that you are on the right path. Just stay true to what you want. Don't worry about what other people think. Focus solely on what it is that you are doing. When you remain positive, strong, and driven, more abundance and opportunities will come your way more quickly, too. Trust in the universe as you follow your dreams. Release your need to control the outcomes. Diaptase is associated with the heart chakra. It facilitates work on your inner child and past relationships and helps you to heal your heart so that you can make true progress. All right, so it's not just the, you know, childhood relationships you're dealing with here it's all relationships all right so 25 that was a really good message definitely fit in with uh this message for you guys this beautiful laramar crystal is here to give you a sense of inner peace and tranquility you need some right now feel the relaxing energy that is surrounding you at this time Laramar is connected to the sky and to water in the ocean. A soft, nurturing water element crystal, Laramar encourages you to spend more time near the water. You may like to visit a river, lake, pond, the ocean, any form of water, okay, because any one of them will help you reconnect with the water element energy that you really need right now. When you go to the water, Feel all of your tension and worries being washed away. Breathe in the fresh air. Listen to the sound of the nature of nature around you. The waves of the ocean, a running stream, or the wind rustling through the leaves of nearby trees, of the birds. Listen to the sounds that are around you and let them soothe you. As you listen to or watch the water flow around you, imagine that all of your worries or concerns are being swept away with the water. 
You are being encouraged at this time to go with the flow in all areas of your life. Relax and throw away all of your expectations and all of your need for control. Throw it out the door. Get rid of it. Enjoy the freedom of flow and acceptance that into your life. Beautiful message there. All right. Let's see. Three yes or no answers. Using the number die here, 1 through 5 is a no answer. 6 through 12 is a yes answer. Answer number 1. That's a no. Answer number 2 is a no. Same exact numbers. Answer number 3 is a three no okay no all right that's all spirits giving me with that like tickle tap the like button uh comment subscribe to the channel if you want to join an awesome community that's what we offer here and check out the description box for personal readings uh cards that i use and other important information i love you guys to pieces until our energy crosses again i'm wishing you a very happy day love you guys Bye bye